so let's get started okay <clears throat> so um let us first understand what is dynamic 365 and um, why do we use dynamic 365 okay so dynamic 365 is basically um a business applications platform okay uh, built on uh, office 365 it is uh, when you say office 365 so all our um, i mean excel uh, outlook powerpoint these are all uh, built on office 365 platform right so likewise the dynamic 365 is also built on top of office 365 it is tightly integrated to office 365 since it is a microsoft product it is tightly integrated to office 365 when i say office 365 all the applic so here you see all the applications like outlook onedrive excel these are tightly integrated with dynamic 365 okay so as i earlier mentioned dynamic 365 ecosystem contains lot of applications a lot of business applications when i say um, applications it could be customer centric applications or uh, employee centric applications or back end operations it could be i mean not just customer focused applications okay so as i earlier mentioned so the basic um, platform on which the dynamic 365 is built is office on top of it we have power platform so the power platform is a rebranding of microsoft business applications um, ecosystem it was uh, around 5 years back microsoft has has given a rebranding to its ecosystem of uh, business applications earlier we used to call it only dynamic 365 later they have introduced lot many um, services and applications here you see like uh, power bi power apps power automate power virtual agents power app, power pages okay so i mean whatever dynamic 365 customer engagement the back end for dynamic 365 customer engagement is dataverse and these these are all other ecosystem of applications which will help us um i mean build our own services or um, um processes in dynamic 365 so as i earlier mentioned dynamic 365 help you to build uh, business applications um that could be customer centric oh. or back end operations so this is the microsoft power platform um, architecture okay so whatever dynamic 365 that we have it is built on top of dataverse the back end for dynamic 365 customer engagement is called dataverse and all other these are microsoft power plat all other microsoft power platform um, um packages or when i say package of services i mean power bi is a business analytics platform okay power apps is a low code no code platform this is used to build um, lightweight business applications okay so as i mentioned this is a, uh, this was rebranded around 5 years ago earlier we used to call only dynamic 365 later microsoft had introduced all other uh, all these um, apps or services that's why they had to rebrand they had to rebrand their ecosystem so um let's discuss about this part later let's focus on only dynamic 365 what all we have in dynamic 365 okay. so um some of you uh, some of you already have an idea on um, um one of you, one of you have uh, already working on business central right so business central these are all finance applications when i say customer engagement dynamic 365 customer engagement those are the applications that actually help you connect with customers and maintain relationship with them okay so when you have a business okay when you have a um, commercial enterprise uh, you need customers to sell your products or services okay so how do you how do you connect with the customers and um, and uh, maintain a relationship with them to sell your product so you need some you need kind of a processes or automations 
that will help you to connect with customer and sell your products right so those are the set of business applications are called customer engagement apps okay so when i say customer engagement apps sales marketing customer service customer voice field services customer insights project operations okay starting from sales to project operations these are all called customer engagement apps and all other applications these are not customer centric applications these are all back end applications okay it is a combination of customer engagement and erp applications okay enterprise resource planning applications so finance business central human resources commerce supply chain management these we, these these applications do not have any processes that will have customer engagement okay and all other processes starting from sales through project operations these are customer engagement or customer centric application so our our training mainly focuses on customer engagement applications only okay so any any questions so far so let me reiterate okay so microsoft dynamic 365 is a is a business applications platform that will um, that will provide you a set of applications to connect with customer and uh, maintain a relationship with him and get business from him okay and all these applications are built on top of microsoft power platform which is a which is the microsoft uh, business applications um, ecosystem all the services applications are hosted on microsoft power platform ecosystem okay which is again built on top of office 365 services now coming to dynamic 365 it is a combination of customer engagement and enterprise resource planning applications okay so when i say enterprise resource planning applications it includes finance business central human resource and commerce scm applications and all sales starting from sales to project operations they fall under customer engagement applications any questions or anything that you do not understand here you mean to customer engagement means crm like right? so the the right hand side yeah, yeah. and the left hand side is a erp so erp applications crm is a, a is a practice name yeah yeah, yeah right. they rebranded it customer engagement so i mean um, in the market okay we have different types of consultants right so we have a uh, finance consultant business central consultant hr consultant likewise most of the jobs i mean um, you get jobs on sales marketing customer services only i mean i'm not saying uh, uh, we don't have any jobs on other um, uh, other um, aspects of customer engagement but Um, those are limited when i say field services when i compare with uh, sales and customer services you don't even see 20% of the jobs on field services but again yeah my expertise on my expertise is only on sales marketing and customer service oh that's great i just want to know that if that is more than enough that is fine i just want exactly to- yeah, yeah 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 i mean nobody knows everything right i mean um when when i say dynamic 365 consultant you don't see someone who knows everything in the dynamic 365 consultant because the scope of the applic- business applications is huge okay and you don't uh, i mean uh, when i compare c uh, customer engagement and uh, uh, erp applications there the similarity is um, similarity is even not even 50% okay that when i when you go for technical um, co- technical uh, courses i mean the way that we work on dynamics customer engagement is completely different from uh, erp applications so earlier we used to call this as microsoft dynamics erm okay customer relationship management later microsoft rebranded it it was previously called crm now when uh, when when it was called crm we we had only um, these set of applications like sales marketing customer service later when they when they introduced field services customer insights project operations they had to rebrand it and then um, 
rebranded it to customer engagement it is it is the same it's all the same but it's just a change in the their branding whether it is crm or customer engagement it's all the same it is just the name change okay. did i make sense yeah 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 that, that, that makes sense so so for so what it means is for me i mean for you to say okay you are a customer engagement consultant then you should, should is it required for you to have understanding of each of the models that is under the customer engagement or it's just okay for you to just have a couple of for you to have idea of a couple of the models and then you are still good to go in the market exactly yeah so uh... i have around 11 years of experience and uh, till now i got to work only on sales marketing customer service and customer voice uh, um applications only i never got a chance to work on field services customer insights project operations okay so it's all about uh, it's all about the requirement in your business uh, in your company so i mean there will uh, there will always be um, uh, there will always be demand for uh, expertise in these field services and other modules also but when you have expertise on sales marketing and customer service yeah it's more than enough yeah you can call i mean you can call a sales expert marketing expert or a customer service expert but we mostly i mean nobody will say like that they will call themselves as dynamic 365 consultant okay uh hi pravin i have a question for you i know about like dynamic 365 sales uh, a bit of it so uh, i just want to like check with you because uh, uh when uh, we'd be offered a job uh, based on d365 sales so because like uh, if if it's a sales consultant the consultant will mostly focus on the sales module whereas in compared to the marketing and the commerce sorry i think not 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 the commerce uh, marketing and customer service or customer voice so the sale, mm. sales module agent will have complete expertise knowledge of sales right he he probably like work on the cross functionalities in between marketing and customer service but he'd be focusing more on the sales module so does this training focus majorly into uh, elaborating the uh, uh requirements and the uh, and like market standards for sales module precisely i'm asking yeah we we focus on uh, functional as well as technical aspects more in technical aspects because um i mean um you can i mean when you go through microsoft learning platform you can understand the functional aspects but to learn technical aspects is not uh, easy for everyone right so we mostly focuses on um, um, so the training um, plan that i was given it has more technical uh, concepts because when you know technical concepts it is not easy to know the functional aspects of other module and uh, work on the other set of applications because the technical uh, um, aspects is same across all the applications but fun- functional aspect differ okay makes sense make- yeah it 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 makes sense so uh like from technical point of view uh, i don't i don't think like probably uh, the sales marketing or like any customer engagement platform or a module whatever it is called uh, are not uh, code based right i think it's it's almost like drag and drop if i'm not wrong am i correct uh, no um marketing yeah i mean uh, it doesn't deal with code it is very low code but sales and customer service if you want to customize it uh, customize it uh, then you need coding knowledge to a certain extent that 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 comes when like you are creating plugins and all that stuff which exactly. are exactly right so uh, like when you go beyond like let's, let's just say in sales like you're adding you're adding a plugin or or something api then you that, that's where you try to focus on writing a code and like elaborating it but if you are just not not considering that areas like uh, having very other like other functionalities then probably like coding is not much required right i just want to like check exactly yeah if you are a citizen developer and you mostly want to focus on functional and 
low code like uh, basic uh, uh, customization then you do not need to learn plugin because plugins and the workflows actions those are core developer concept okay um but if you want to just be like a citizen developer where you want to customize the applications uh, uh, a bit i mean suppose if you want to create some views or some forms with mm -hmm. some basic um, coding knowledge then you do not need to know those coding concepts okay so did uh, i answer your question like, yeah yeah uh, most of the uh, views or forms are like uh, the data types or the relationships like or uh, reporting or like creating any uh, security templates like th these these generally don't deal with coding so Code. it shouldn't be exactly yeah that, so it's it's like a low code no code pl platform right exactly yeah it's in no code i mean microsoft i mean basically driving its strategy towards low code no code only they don't want you to learn coding and uh, um, i mean get everything into your brain so mm -hmm. because we also have a core development concept but microsoft wants to attract the developers by introducing this no code no code uh, services or uh, apps so that more people will come into the platform and learn and so that there will be a lot many uh, community communities will develop so that that will help their ecosystem um uh, sorry i want to ask so after this um after like after going through this training just i think um the last the person that asked uh, the other question they, um, touched a bit on this. So, do we, do, are we going to become a technical um, consultant or a functional consultant or both of them? So, are we, are we learning? I don't know. Yeah, both. It should be both. Okay, great, great, great. That's lovely then. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, we can focus. We can focus on we can focus on both functional and uh, technical aspects. But uh, when I say functional aspects, it is all about how do you practice. Okay, how do you uh, take advantage of Microsoft resources? Okay. Whatever forty hour, forty hours that we uh, whatever we learn in forty hours, I don't think it is enough for you to be uh, to become a technical or functional consultant. You have we have a lot of resources to learn about these um, business applications. Oh. You say anything, we have everything, whether it's in YouTube or Microsoft Learn plat Learning Platform. You can learn everything, OK? It is, it is more about uh, learning about the use cases, functional aspects. I mean, I can definitely guide you to learn it. I can, I can clarify your queries. I can help you to uh, build the use cases. But it is you who has to go back and learn using those resources. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. So uh, the question good? is like, uh, sorry, uh, the last question. The other question I'd like to yeah. uh, ask you is, uh, so we'd be getting the tenants, right? Like the, uh, uh, the the tenants for training so that that will also be included in this. Uh, with the course. I will. I, the... I mean, uh, you need to create your own um, uh, trial version. Okay, I can definitely help you uh, doing that. Let's start with that today itself. Okay, if you already have it, then we are good. Otherwise, we can create our own uh, trial instances. I have my own trial instance. I also want you to create your own trial instances. Okay. Can so you is it today? like, uh, like I did, I did something like that before, and it got expired mm -hmm. in a month. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The it will ex uh, the trial instance is only for thirty days. Okay. So we can also create developer instances. Okay. So. So let me just follow me. So you see this uh, program, right? Join the Microsoft develop 365 developer program. Since I already have it, it is showing my name. So could you please um, register for this program so that you do not need to create a trial instance every three uh, every month. 
it will automatically renew your account every 6 months so that uh, you can keep it live can you just follow this uh, page let me just ping you this url in the chat window so if you create this developer account you can have subscriptions to uh, business applications any business applications and then uh, it will get renewed every 6 months so you do not need to create uh, a trial version every month just try it and let me know i mean if you have any difficulty in creating a trial account otherwise let me create one more uh, account for me so that you can follow me along so you can select here power platform microsoft teams copilot office admin let's go by instant sandbox Asia Pacific. Well, this is a uh, what area of Microsoft development are you interested in? Um, I've just selected everything. Yeah, that's fine. The, okay, because it 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 didn't show me um customer engagement, co-pilot, power, power platform, platform. Power, yeah, power platform. platform. Okay, great. Yeah, because Dynamics three sixty five is built on top of 
power platform right so okay yeah Set up your microphone. This is for IP, Mr. Sandbox. So, which of the sandbox are we using? So, we use available. Hello. Yeah, SLX. What uh, Peter was uh, Peter has selected everything, but you can select um, Power Platform, no. Microsoft Teams. No, 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 sandbox, sandbox, sandbox. sandbox. Instant, instant is fine. Instant is fine. Um, look, sandbox region is asking, is it North America, Asia Pacific? Which, which select anyone? You can select uh, the uh, the region that you belong to. Okay, good. Sir, uh, my name is Chandra, sir. Yes, Chandra, how are you? Oh, fine, sir. Uh, one thing, sir, my I am. Completed my graduate 2016 in civil engineering. Now I entered okay. into the civil uh, software side. Yeah. I'm choosing the uh, Microsoft CTC by CRM. Is it good or not, sir? Please tell me once uh, again my problem. Sir. So, do you have any experience in IT, Chandra? No, no, sir. I am still working okay. in civil engineering, but uh, I interested in software side. See, you can definitely, I mean, yeah. yeah, so. One of my so, brother in Posis, uh, DR position in CRM, sir. Okay, okay. So, Chandra, you uh, need a um, little bit um, idea on how the, I mean, applications work, or the architecture. Okay, okay. Uh, how, so, you need you a need little bit understanding on how applic applications work. And then if you uh, have that uh, understanding, it's not too difficult for you to um, get an idea on how Dynamic 365 or Power Platform work. It is just that you need to spend more effort in understanding system architecture, how applications work, what is the backend, okay? How, uh, okay. The, how um, the data um, backend, I mean, the backend... Uh, I already uh, some... Work. I added some working in uh, CRM applications for uh, entities creations, field creations, and sales. Oh, then we are good, right? Then you are good. Uh, then you are good. Sir. Okay. Peter. Okay. If you know how applications work, then you do not need to worry. Okay, okay, sir. But one thing, uh, I am a uh, non-core background. Uh, that's why this time I uh, get opportunity in any job, sir. You get right. I mean, see, nobody will. Uh, I mean, unless you are a core developer, everybody will start uh, learning. Uh, every, uh, I mean, most of the people start learning functional aspects and then start uh, slowly. They will uh, try technical aspects and then learn coding. Okay, that's how they uh, they work in uh, they work on Dynamic 365. Okay, you. St I mean, you start with uh, customizations. And then low on um, low code um, um, operations, and then you can start learning the the core technical concepts. Okay, okay, so application oriented. Yeah, 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 yeah. But one thing, sir, my career gap is the main thing. That any reason for that? See, these career Job. gaps Job, and all. I mean, uh, I mean. Nowadays, companies, very few companies are uh, concerned about their career gap. Okay, otherwise, I mean, if you have, uh, if you have expertise, then they have a, re a requirement. And then I, I don't think it matters. Gone are the I days where uh, you have an issue, career gap. Thank you. Thank you so Is much. Is it Peter? Peter? Thank you. Yep. Um... I have, it's, it has, it's telling me now, welcome, FNU, LNU. I've created the account, so what next? Uh, could you please share your screen, Peter? Okay, let me share my screen. Yeah. 
who share screen ask the organizer to make i think i can't share my own the organize i have, I have you need to give me access make present yeah you should be able to do that okay so can you see my screen yeah we see your screen so this is what um, this is where it got me to products technology uh, did you select power platform I yes i selected you have yes. you selected? selected power platform yeah i selected everything selected everything yeah uh, view more concepts there is a link at the bottom view more concepts you should say view more tutorials here oh yeah yeah functional uh -huh. you do, i don't see anything related to power platform here few more quick stuff can you just scroll up a bit looks like you have selected uh scroll up a bit okay view more concepts okay yeah this is it uh -huh. scroll up a bit Where did you select it from here? Um, PowerPoint, OneNote, PowerPoint. Technologies, can you go to technologies? Yeah, I don't see it. Um, oh, okay. um, has any other, I mean, um, uh, created the developer account and able to see? I did the platform. same and I've, I've, got, I've got the same screen and I've stopped it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Know. Similar to Microsoft. Anyway, you have that. Okay, what about let's this do one? Thing. Authentication versus Microsoft identity platform. Okay, this is not it. Okay. Anyway, you have the account. Let us try to create a trial version in the interest of time. Then we can. Um, if you have the account, then you do not need to worry about. Uh... Okay, I can stop sharing then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have it. Long time. Yeah. If anyone, if anyone of you um, have any issues in provisioning these applications, let me know. The way that Peter has provisioned his application, you should be able to do. So let me know if you have any issues doing so. How will I know that when it's going to... Oh, it's starting this trial. Yeah, try. it's a trial application. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, the account that you created, it will not expire, okay? Okay. It will not expire. It will keep, uh, it will keep renewed. But the application, whatever the application that you provision, it will expire every month. So... You created a sales, you uh, you provisioned a sales um, uh, application, sales license. Now, after 30 days, it will expire. You can, using the same account within a minute, you can create uh, a new um, sales license, okay? So that okay. you will see all the sales uh, applications. So if uh, the rest, if you have any uh, issues in provisioning these applications, let me know. In the interest of time, let us continue and... Um, See like how these applications are hosted and uh, make it how we can customize it. Okay, so so this is my okay. Once I provisioned the sales um, uh, license, this is what you see, right? So you see uh, if you click here, this is the application name, sales trial, and you see all the applications that you get access to with that license. Okay. So these are all different set of applications that you have access with that license. Okay. So along with the sales, you also see some customer service applications also. Okay. So when you have a sales license, since I'm an admin, I will see it. But the, the applications are displayed as per our license. Okay. We have different types of licenses like dynamic, dynamic sales premium, dynamic sales professional, customer and customer service enterprise team member 
So as per your license, you see these uh, applications displayed here. Okay. Let me go to Sales Hub. Okay. So uh, in the Power Platform ecosystem, we talked about Power Apps, right? Power App. Okay. All these applications are called Power Apps. Okay. The application files that you see, all these are called Power Apps. And there are different types of Power Apps. Okay. So let me just go here. So we have we have model we have model driven apps and canvas apps. Okay. So the model driven when I say model driven, it comes with a predefined okay, the predefined structure. So whatever the apps that I see here, these are all called model driven apps. Because when I Say model, there is already a pre pre built interface and also a database in the back end. So that's why it's called model driven. Okay. When you see an app, it all there is already an interface, right? There is already a site map or navigation, and you you can customize it, but you do not need to build build these interfaces, right? So these are all pre built set of applications that's why it is called model driven applications okay the other set of applications canvas apps can when i say canvas apps you need to build those applications from scratch all the interface that you see this is all pre-built whereas in canvas you need to build each and every each and every control from scratch okay the scope I mean, we mostly focus on model driven apps only. We also discuss about the canvas apps in the end of the training. When I say the apps that you see when you provision the uh, your setup, these are all model driven apps. Okay. Why we call model driven app? Because there is always a database set and the user interface pre built, and you the, these can be customized as per your requirement. That's why it's called model driven apps. Whereas canvas apps, that is all custom application. You have to likewise when you build a .NET app, you build uh, the interface, backend, the business application layer. You have to build everything, right? So you can imagine canvas apps as like a custom uh, business application. Okay. Again, uh, the backend can be for Canvas apps. The backend can be anything. Like it can be a SharePoint, it can be a Excel, it can be um, a SQL Server. The backend Canvas apps can be any data source. Whereas model driven apps, it's only data verse. So I said Dynamic 365 ecosystem is built upon data verse, right? Data verse is nothing but the backend for Dynamic 365 uh, customer engagement application. Okay, so customer engagement applications. Earlier it was called Dynamic CRM. Now they rebranded it to Customer Engage Dynamic 365 Customer Engagement. Around five years ago, Microsoft realized that Dynamic 365 Dynamic 365 uh, customer engagement or CRM, it is only serving large customers, large customer, uh, large, large enterprises. So there are some um, small enterprises who do not bear the license for Dynamic 365. So the Dynamic 365 uh, uh, license cost starts from $50, $60. Okay. So most of the organizations cannot afford those licenses, right? So Microsoft thought, why can't we build a platform using which we can also, uh, I mean, um, uh, satisfy uh, small enterprises? Okay, that is when they built. Uh, they thought about Microsoft Power Platform and brought these Power App, low code, no code apps. Okay, in these low code, no code apps, the licensing cost is starts from five dollars. Okay, so you can build a Microsoft model driven or canvas app with five dollar license also. Okay. So here if I go here, so this is my environment. So if I built an app, 
okay i can build an app using uh, an excel sheet i mean if you have a, an excel data you can upload it and build an app okay so you just need a $5 or $10 license to build these apps okay when when it was called dynamic 365 or dynamic crm we did not have all these uh, apps okay that we can build using $5 license okay so all these microsoft power platform it came into existing to also serve the medium or small enterprises who cannot bear the license of license for dynamic 365 so that's why we call uh, power apps is a low code or no code platform okay so when i say power apps it has two different we can build two different types of apps model driven which is again um, uh, these set of apps the apps that you see here these are all model driven apps because these are all pre built whereas canvas app you need to build from scratch okay we will discuss about that part later point in time okay so i mean um we can i mean uh, in the market you have demand for both model driven as well as canvas apps but uh, um, our, our we uh, in our training we mostly focus on model driven apps only because all the business applications are built on model driven apps only okay so any questions uh, so far okay i have a question yeah go ahead and my question is centered around the connectivity of these models, right? Because um, this setup we just did now, it looks to me like we have just set up a sales environment, right? A sales model environment. Now, my question is, how does, is there, okay, how does sales model connect with other models to within the customer engagement um um yeah within the customer engagement models is there any kind of connectivity between this each of these models or they are all stand alone yeah it's not stand alone alex because the database for all these applications whether it is a sales application or service application or marketing application the database for all these applications is only one which is called dataverse here you see dataverse right all the customer engagement applications are built on top of dataverse mm -hmm. okay so when i say uh, data when i say database is one you do not need to connect with them, right? They are all built on only one database. It is just that when I say sales applications, the, ta the tables are different here. So if I go here, let me open the sales application. So this is my sales applications, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you see here, the tables are entities for sales applications are leads, opportunities, forecast contacts and account these okay. are the basic or standard tables for sales application okay whereas for customer service the tables are accounts contacts again these are okay. common right mm -hmm. we saw the account mm -hmm. contacts here also it is the mm -hmm. same it is the same table okay okay, okay. and here we have uh, uh, for customer service we have cases queues all these tables belong to only one database which okay. is called data world okay okay so yeah. you do not need to you do not need a separate process or uh, integration to um, integrate these applications right it is all mm -hmm. built on one database and you share those table to build your own application okay okay, okay. did i answer your question yeah 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 Thank you. So, as I uh, let me reiterate, so for building any applications on top of Dynamic 365 customer engagement platform, we use Dataverse. Okay, the Dataverse is the backend, our core of this customer engagement platform, on which you build any applications for your uh, different aspects, or if you have different businesses. I mean, suppose if you take, I mean, um, uh, any, I mean, uh, uh, let me take any company. Uh, 
um, Jet Airways or Indigo or any any um, and, um, or uh, if you take any company ABC okay it can have lot of businesses right it can have a retail business it can have uh, um, a software uh, developing uh, um, vertical it can do lot of uh, businesses okay so when they do lot of uh, businesses they need different applications each business require its own um, set of applications okay you don't accommodate all the businesses under one umbrella right that xyz business needs lot of applications it needs customer engagement applications it needs erp applications and it also it it also so needs the canvas applications for it, for lightweight uh, business cases right so that's why i mean for all customer all customer engagement applications will be built on top of dataverse if you have lightweight applications like if you if you need a if you need an application for uh, filling your time sheet okay you need to fill your time sheet right in a company then you do not need dataverse for that you uh, you can you can have a sharepoint as a backend for filling your time sheets and you can build an interface using canvas applications okay and then use it as a app and share it with your employees to fill their time sheet okay and uh, for your uh, payroll management okay so let me take this go to this slide so that it makes more sense okay so say all your sales marketing customer services uh, customer service operations they all can be managed using cus uh, customer engagement okay um, all your payroll management that can be uh, that can be uh, implemented using human resource hr platform right all your uh, finance uh, and finance and business center like back end operations like order management invoice management okay they those processes can be built using these finance and business center applications okay so i mean uh, when i say business applications business operations or applications you can take advantage of dataverse or uh, these erp uh, uh, um, services and if you have any lightweight business cases like time sheet or uh, uh, shift shift management rostering all those can be all those use cases can be built using uh, the power apps okay either it can be a model driven app or canvas app for model driven you always need to use dataverse as a backend for canvas the data source can be anything okay as i earlier mentioned you can use excel sharepoint sql or any external we have around 300 data sources within power platform you can have you see data connectors right you can integrate you can integrate your applications using 300 around 300 data connectors you can get data from 300 different types of sources and show your data in your power platform okay so the ecosystem is huge and um, if you if you have the license and uh, if you are using microsoft power platform as a uh, strategy for your a business then the 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 scope and the scope is very huge you can use it for almost all the business cases because microsoft platform is built only for business applications only i mean they are targeting only the business applications okay that is their uh, uh, idea or goal did i make sense are any questions so far um let me just let me just check with what i understand from what you have said is okay. for example we want to build an application that is not on uh, that is different from the customer engagement application so for example the time sheet we can build the ui on this platform and connect it to a different database other than the dataverse right yes yes exactly you can either build on dataverse or suppose say dataverse needs a license right it requires license um, okay. the license cost is high 
but uh, you you can also have uh, i mean if you if you see sharepoint and excel and other application other uh, data sources they are of free cost so if you want to use those applic those data uh, sources for your application then uh, you can go for those data sources also that's what i mean okay so so in building those um those uis um is it covered in this course or is it you are you are just mentioning this in passing yeah yeah we we mostly focus on dynamic 365 customer engagement only but since we also we, we also talk about a power platform we also mention wherever as and when uh, it is required but okay. this uh, this yeah this training covers or focuses more on customer engagement uh, i have a, i have a question like you know uh, so uh, maybe expertise or skill we required uh, uh, this uh, on uh, power apps or uh, canvas apps to to you know to be good at uh, consultant functional techno functional consultant yes yes at least basic expertise is required i mean see canvas apps yeah if you are a citizen or a beginner it's not too difficult to learn it okay so but when you say consultant your area area of expertise it could be different it varies right you can be a sales consultant marketing consultant or a field services consultant but it all depends on um, i mean the, the as i mentioned the scope is huge you you cannot be specific about what your area of expertise is and you when i say dynamic 365 customer engagement consultant it can be only project service or field service also so you mean to like you know it is better to have a yeah yeah uh, so it's better to have a uh, uh, you know the the at least up to intermediate level understanding of the canvas of the you know customization of the app that's why exactly. i guess yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it will yeah, it will always be an added advantage if you know all these all those concepts okay okay got it yeah that's all for today i mean so what we have discussed like uh, we discussed about what is customer engagement and what is a back end how it is built and how microsoft uh, has rebranded why it was rebranded and uh, what are different kinds of applications and and how to uh, provision a, an environment using uh, um, developer account so these two urls will help you to create a developer account and create a trial instance for your sales or customer services environments okay just i mean if you have already created then well and good otherwise um, you create a trial instance so that from tomorrow onwards we can uh, uh, i mean we can get into the concepts and then uh, you you can do your hands on while uh, uh, once we are done with our training okay so that's about it i mean before we wind up you have any questions let me know otherwise we can um, end this discussion praveen <coughs> hi praveen faisal over here hi faisal praveen can we have a setup like you know uh, like you know do a like the one crm is for the main company and another will be the passive and one will be the active do you have like this concepts in the training in the future course passive active i did not get it uh, faisal like you know primary secondary uh huh like you know main, main database main crm can be up and running and another can mm-hmm. be act as a passive once up, uh, master is down like slave will be come, come in active section uh no uh, customer engagement platform i mean whatever yes. the training that we are going to cover it is all cloud platform okay yes. everything will be host all these applications are hosted on cloud so this is not like a on premise uh, um, on premise setup this is more like a cloud platform so, so for all us, the, i mean yeah as faisal yeah right now like you know i have a setup like on premise uh, like uh, cluster things like you know master and slave okay you can say active passive whatever you want okay so i'm looking for that with the integration with the, like a lot of a uh, lot of other applications like erp eae okay to integrate with them with the my microsoft crm on premise 365 do we cover this mm-hmm. the the uh, topics no fine 
the we mostly uh, in this training we cover only uh, dynamic uh, com- customer engagement applications which are hosted mm-hmm. on microsoft azure cloud not on cloud. okay okay yeah. okay fine fine uh, sorry boy uh, adwali since since i uh, I, I, i don't know too much about this crm before now just a bit so after this training if somebody is looking for you I don't know this is some job advert. Will it is it the when they say um, they are looking for Microsoft Dynamics CRM developers or what are the job titles that Yeah the people? job titles are like uh, mostly uh, like Dynamic 365 customer engagement functional consultant technical consultant okay. um these are the titles like customer so you will have let me just uh, take this dynamic 365 customer engagement oh, functional see. and technical oh, okay again dynamic 365 business central okay consultant okay no i'm looking at no i'm looking at in terms of this training like for example i have already a business center consultant that after finishing this training what are the job title that you can be looking this for? one yes this training will customer doing. engagement customer yeah. engagement okay okay yeah, yeah, the first one okay thanks okay yeah so we're going to be like a techno functional consultant yeah yes yeah. okay thanks Your so, is that all? is very good. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, Peter. That's all, uh, everyone. If you don't have any questions, uh, we will end this call and then uh, we'll join tomorrow. Thanks, thanks, everyone. Have a good so, day. So, hello. Just before you go, how how is this call supposed to run? Is it going to be running every day? for 40 days or how was it was a plan in, in terms of um this schedule for the class uh that i need to check with the 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 management i will share the schedule uh, very soon i i just need to check with them okay Since so when you... the first class they just wanted to okay so when we say when you say tomorrow that's the reason why i ask um tomorrow at the same time or the time we go is going to be communicated to us it will be communicated to you it will be communicated okay. whatever the uh, the schedule uh, and the plan will be communicated to you. okay that's fine thank you thanks uh before we end this call i will i also want to give you a learning material okay so that you can go through and then and get an idea on how these um, customer engagement works yeah this is the link to the training path just go just follow that link and then complete that uh, learning path thanks thanks everyone have a good day